Welcome to a brand new episode of the Dubai Real Estate Podcast. In this episode, we are discussing a very special topic, which is flipping properties in Dubai for a profit. And who doesn't want to make extra profit? But before we go ahead, if you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell to stay updated, and your likes and comments are really welcome. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, please give us a five star rating and review. This really helps us getting discovered. Spotify listeners, please do follow and share. So now let's cue the music. So here we have such an exciting episode today. Yes, very much. Because so far into the season, we have not touched on one of the most commonly used terms in real estate, especially when it comes to investors making money, which is flipping. So that's what today's focus is going to be about. Yes. Let's talk about flipping. Firstly, what is flipping? Well, Raj, flipping properties is flipping is a term which is used. Basically, you buy a property and f sell it for a higher amount in some time. So it's basically you buy and you sell it for a profit. In simple words, you could also say trading. So, you know, usually flipping in properties is also referred to a lot of uh, people buy properties, put certain amount down, the value increases, they sell it for a profit. Okay, so this is one particular type of real estate investor who has a short-term agenda. Usually, yes, people flip for in the short term. Okay, what is, what is the case for flipping? Why do people do it? Look, uh, why do people do it? Simple answer, to make profit, okay? Uh, what they want to do is they want to invest the money for a short period of time, they want to sell and make profit out of it. Uh, but when you talk about flipping in Dubai, it happens, but it's a different market over here. And as I've repeatedly, you know, even in my previous episodes, I've said that Dubai is a very different market, very dynamic, very different to what the other markets around the world are. So if you ask me flipping happens in Dubai, yes, it does happen. Is it the most common, most uh, easiest thing to do? Answer is no. It's not the most common thing or the most easiest thing to do. It does happen. Uh, you need to keep in mind there are two types of properties which you flip. One, an off-plan property. One is a ready property. Okay, so let's talk about those two scenarios. Yeah. Starting with off-plan, what are the individual circumstances that make it hard to flip an off-plan property in Dubai? And what are the circumstances you would need in these minority of cases to be able to do a successful flip of an off-plan property? So Raj, to start with off-plan properties, uh, what happens is, and this is basically, uh, I would say a lot of investors, uh, especially when they're overseas investors, they buy into an off-plan property in Dubai, thinking they will pay some amount now, maybe 10%, 20%, 30%, and flip it for a profit in the short term. Well, that, it's not something which is impossible, but if you ask me, is that something which you should buy a property for? The answer is no. It does happen, but you need to understand there are certain criteria, certain conditions when you can flip a property. When we talk about off-plan property, the first thing which a lot of people are not aware of, that when they buy an off-plan property, they can resell it and the profit is theirs, but every developer has a resale condition. And a lot of people miss out reading the resale condition of their particular off-plan property in the contract. Some developers has a, have, a, have a resale condition where you need to pay 30% down payment, only then can you resell. Even though the work is maybe at say 20%, the 30% is not due, some have 40%. So it depends from developer to developer. So I can't say a particular, uh, it's not like a standard norm, but usually it is 30 to 40% of the purchase value, which they need to have paid in order to resell. Even if, for instance, the property is on the payment is only due by say 15%. But if you want to resell, you will have to pay either 30%, 40%, depending on what the developer's condition is. So the buyer's liquidity profile has to be a little bit better because you can't just put 15, 20% and then wait for the price to go up. Right. To release yourself from this obligation. Exactly. You have to have injected at least 40% of the capital value of the property. Yes, typically. Uh, of course, in some properties, it could be a 2080 payment plan. If that is the case where 20% is during construction and 80 on handover, then yes, maybe on 20% they could flip. But investors need to be very careful when you talk about flipping. Why? For a simple reason that why will a property sell for a higher value 
than what you bought it at in a short period of time. There are, it is possible, as I said earlier, there are certain conditions and criteria. First and foremost, if your unit is the most prime unit in the development or one of the most prime unit in the development. Secondly, the overall number of units in the development are very few. Third, the markets are going up. So the prices keep on increasing. Then that, and one of the most important factors, which you need to be uh, sure of that you can flip a property only when the developer is sold out on his or I mean his inventory right because if the developer is not sold out on his inventory why will someone come and pay you 50 40 50 percent whatever is to be paid up front plus pay a premium to you and buy a property when the developer is selling at you know the same prices and with a better payment plan so these four five things you need to be really sure of secondly if you think about flipping a property, you need to make sure that the property is not too many in numbers. When I say that, what I mean to say is that, say for instance, you're buying an apartment in a high rise building, okay? Say the building is 50 floors and you buy apartment number 3001. There's apartments going from 101 to 5001. So you need to understand that there are 50 other similar apartments like yours, which are gonna be in the market. Not necessarily all are going to sell, but you need to weigh your options in. So then is it possible that if you hold th unit 3001, there could be a possibility there's 3101 for sale, 2901 for sale. Until and unless all those units are sold, they are the most prime in the building. And the demand for that particular type of property is high. Only then will you be able to sell that for a profit. Okay, so I'm not saying it doesn't happen or it cannot happen, but there are a lot of conditions criteria. I always tell investors, especially off-plan investors and when they're overseas, a lot of people misguide just for the sale. And they tell the investor, listen, just buy this, you will be able to flip this in six months time. They do not tell them that there's a resale condition. Secondly, they do not educate the client that, listen, just in case if the markets don't perform well or the markets go the other way around, you need to have the ability and the finances to hold on to that property. A lot of people I have seen have sold property in negative equity or for lesser than what they bought at for a simple reason because they just jumped in for the greed thinking they'll put 10% down or 15% down and someone promised them that listen before the second or third installment we'll sell it for a premium. That really doesn't work so easily. It happens but it's not the case. I mean nine out of 10 times it doesn't happen. You know, uh, I would say one or two out of 10 possible. So let's talk about a scenario where the developer is typically not in the picture, which is when you're buying a ready property, a property that's yes. been previously owned by an existing right. person who's living in there or is an existing investor. Is that a more forgiving scenario if you're looking at making flips and what are the mechanisms in place at a government level that stop that from happening? too much and what are the ideal conditions that allow it to happen in a positive so, way? Look Raj, ready properties also you can flip. One fundamental which you need to understand when you are buying a property to flip, your purchase has to be right. If you purchase below the current market value, then yes, you might be able to flip. Most people go make a mistake and that mistake is what? They think I'll the markets are going up, I'll buy it 1.5 and I'll sell it at 2 million. They're buying at the market value. So they're not, first, they're not getting any benefit out of it because they're paying the market price. Second thing, in this scenario, it's like a gamble. So you're betting against the market going up and subject to the markets going up, you will make a profit, right? So that's not the correct approach. Yes, that can happen on the long term. You make an investment thinking, okay, I'll make this investment. I'll wait for five years, 10 years, the value of the property will go up and I'll, you know, till then take the rent, sell it. That's a different scenario. I'm just, I'm strictly talking about flipping in the short term, you know, uh, six months, one year time. Now, yes, if you bought the property, which was say at 1.5 million, you bought it for 1.2, you found a distressed seller who needed liquidity immediately and you just took advantage of that situation and you, you know, paid him the money and you bought the property. Then in that situation, yes, you are safe because maybe, you know, the property is valued at 1.5 in the market. You bought it at 1.1 or 1.2 million 
and you put it in the market at 1.5 and along with that the markets start climbing up or they're going up and you get 1.6 or 1.7 million for that that is a possibility but that's a possibility subject to you buy correct also the investors need to keep in mind that when you're buying a ready property you are uh, also incurring additional costs of acquisition of that property mm -hmm. uh, which is anywhere around six to seven percent because four percent is the dld land department fees two percent is the agency commission and there's some small fees for the trustee office so somewhere around you end up paying six to seven percent approximately of the total value so if you bought a property worth one million dirhams by the time you actually complete the transaction that property has costed you one million sixty thousand seventy thousand approximately so this is also a cost which you need to factor in because if you sell it you need to sell it above that mark to make any sort of profit mm. so and that's also something which you need to understand and what parts of dubai have you seen where a small amount of inventory has led to an increase in flipping behavior so look i'll tell you off lately if you see all the beachfront properties uh, so i'll give you an example and this is which this is a project which i love La Mer and you know I tell people and I've been telling people when it was launched that listen this is at a right price it's got all the criteria conditions of flipping a property are there in that pro in that project they were launched in the right price <clears throat> prime location very limited number of apartments and townhouses right so the apartments were very few and the developer is completely sold out today everybody who is holding a property over there is commanding a premium today depending on how good the view of the property is the premium is going but the properties are selling at a premium now is does that mean that anybody who bought during that period of time into any offline development is selling at a profit the answer is no this particular development and some other developments like this like for instance lavi on jbr that was the last beachfront plot on jbr now, so people who understood that and bought that at that time, they are selling for a premium because they, they understood that what that property is all about. So what happens is everybody wants to make a quick buck. A lot of people get into it, but not everybody makes it because they don't educate themselves properly. They don't understand the whole market dynamics and they get in. Secondly, one thing which is very, very important, most people who've been successful in this they always plan for the worst. They always plan that, okay, fine, I'm making this decision that I will be flipping this property on handover or once it is ready. But if at that time the markets are not good, I'm not able to flip it for the price what I want, I will keep a provision to hold this property till the time I don't reach a level where I can make profit on it. And then will I sell. When you go with that approach in real estate, the chances of you making money are much higher. So once you've priced in the fact that you've got a property below market value and there's high demand for the property mm -hmm. or there's low inventory of it subject to, you know, the other options in that building, or whatever the case may be, are there any other things that today would allow you to orientate towards doing a deal? And realistically speaking, what are the timelines if you've got these conditions to come in and out of a deal and do a flip. Are we talking about a minimum of three months, six months? Look Raj, uh, a timeline is difficult to say. Uh, sometimes we've seen that uh, people have been able to flip properties in three months also, six months also, sometimes a year's time where they're getting a good return on what they've invested in. Uh, one is timing is very important. If when people bought, say for instance, first quarter of 2020, okay, uh, or when just COVID struck, that was that was basically, uh, you know, people who were experienced investors, they just jumped onto properties. Whoever got it today is selling it at a good profit. Now, this is, this is something which is, of course, happens. These are cycles when these happens, but this is not the regular thing which happens every, uh, you know, one year or two years. No, this was a, this was a time when a person took an opportunity, thought that the market's at a real low level, let me grab this opportunity, uh, buy, and the market's picked up. So one is the timing of you buying the property also makes a lot of difference. A difference. Uh, secondly, you also need to make sure that you buy the right property. What happens is majority of the people make the wrong decisions in choosing the property. 
look it's it's like you know the stock market or any other market or any any field if for instance the stock market is going up it doesn't mean that every stock is in the green there are some stocks when no matter how good the markets are you know it would be uh, there's still some stocks in the red whether you talk about cryptocurrency whatever same way with real estate the markets overall yes they are high but does that mean every single property is high no that's not the case there are some properties still in the minus they're still in negative equity even though the markets have corrected we're seeing prices jumping but there's still some properties who you know i know people who bought in 2015 they are in the red and the reason is very simple they didn't do the research well they didn't study the project well they didn't choose the right development and the right property okay now any a good place to end right now would probably be talking about an experienced investor somebody who's used to flipping it's not always the market that dictates if the value of a property goes up sometimes an investor can add value to the property yes by taking what's known in other markets as a fixer upper a, a property that might be a little bit older a little bit more worn down that with the right kind of renovations done to it that it could be go back onto the market as yes. a much more attractive higher price point property is that common in dubai how could an investor take advantage of that if so so okay uh, raj to answer this question is a great question uh, is this very common in dubai answer is no but in the future this will become more common in dubai why look whenever you talk about taking a property renovating it you know upgrading it and putting it back on the market it's usually a property which is in a bad condition run down condition uh, where, which needs a lot of renovation now typically a property would need a lot of renovation after a few years a good number of years you know usually what happens any property which is 10 15 year old doesn't really you know need that much work in in context of dubai there is no freehold property which you will find which is more than two decades old because the freehold property started in 2002 we're sitting in 2021 so technically speaking you will not find a freehold property which is 30 years or 40 years old yeah. right now this makes the market very different and that's why we're seeing a lot of changes in the market yes there are some areas such as palm jumeirah the villas in the palm we're seeing some uh, you know older buildings in downtown uh, we're seeing buildings in the dubai marina villas in the springs meadows emirates hills where people are taking older units which are not in good condition stripping them down renovating it and doing a complete revamp of those properties recently some properties on the palm and in the luxury segment sold at some really good prices where people took it at a good price they spend money on the whole complete renovation and uh, revamping the property and they put it back in the market so yes that trend is now coming but again uh, what happens is with this trend you need to be very uh, careful because this is not happening everywhere it will these things are not happening in the affordable areas because uh, you know when you talk about an affordable segment property if the property is say for instance your target price to sell it is 1 million until unless you get the property at 600000 and you spend some money over it on renovating and you send it you put it back in the market for 1 million then it's a different thing but uh, in the luxury segment yes this is very much happening uh, in the bigger apartments the villas uh, this trend is picking up and i feel this will go on more because as dubai develops the prime areas the already developed areas for instance uh, if you talk about dubai marina now dubai marina there's hardly any new building coming up there may be one or two right uh, same way with uh, downtown there are okay downtown still developing but the sizes of the new developments are small so someone who wants big sizes has to go into old developments now if you have a really nice done up unit over there uh, same way villas on the palm they limited in number so these things are definitely going to come in and can be done but you need to do a proper analysis on it on what you're buying what you're going to be spending and what's the target price do you still have conversations with short term investors and would you be open to conversations with short term investors yeah i mean there is always opportunity in the market uh, it all depends on how people uh, you know look at it uh, but yes there are possibilities where people can have some sort of short term gains but you need to be more realistic on it that real estate is a long term game uh, short term gains can happen but 
I don't really tell investors that invest for the short term. Mm. Invest for the long term. In the short term, if you get a gain and you want to exit, that's your call. Mm. And if some of those folks want to contact you, what's the best way to get in touch with uh, you? They could uh, just uh, you know drop me a DM on any of my social media handles at Tahir Majid here or email me on Tahir at TrustedHomesDubai.com. I'm always happy to help. Thanks so much for that, Tahir. A great overview of flipping or the state of flipping in Dubai. Go ahead and read us out. Thanks for watching this show. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe to our channel. Give us your likes. Hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please give us your rating, review, and do follow. And I hope to see you in Dubai very soon.